Thanks for joining us on News Channel 11 at 5.30. Tonight, we're having so much fun. We are highlighting remarkable women here in the Tri-Cities and the contributions they've made to our community. And here with us are our finalists. We have <laughs> Sherry Marilyn, uh, Marion, we have Caroline Hawthorne, and we have Eliz Isabel Hall. Lindsay Nichols could not be joining us tonight. Yeah, we'll hear from her in just a second. But first, I want to ask mm -hmm. each of you, what was your reaction when you received this call from someone you have no idea who it is and they're like, you've been nominated as a remarkable woman. What was your reaction? Um, well, for me, it was very, very humbling. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, I just could not believe that someone would consider that I would be seen as a remarkable woman because I think mm -hmm. there's so many other more remarkable women out there sure. doing things that mm -hmm. I, I believe are just amazing. Mm -hmm. So it was just pinch me, really? Is this happening? <laughs> Is that yeah. someone really <laughs> thinking of me that way? So yeah. yeah, yeah, that was incredible. Sherry, what about you? Well, I didn't know a lot about it. I still really don't, but I knew just a little. And so when I got the phone call, I was like, what? Me? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> we hear that a lot. Yeah. We do. Yeah, it's so interesting. Everybody says everything you guys do is remarkable, but yeah. me, I'm part yeah. of this group too. Yeah. And you had sort of a oh, similar I, it feeling was the response. same way. I I was just so humbled and mm -hmm. couldn't believe that somebody would nominate me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. And then, of course, meeting all of you, some of you I'm meeting for the first time, some of you I've known for a while, and Sherry, we were talking about just the contributions to the community, and of course, a familiar face with Rise Up. All mm -hmm. of you have such incredible mm -hmm. stories of mm -hmm. helping our youth and sort of mm -hmm. paying it forward. Tell me a little bit about how important that is to you particularly, mm -hmm. Sherry. Yeah, so uh, we started Rise Up for Kids about 28 years ago. And it really was out of just our burden and our heart for children who were already in the system and that we just saw through a lot of experiences and stories that it needed to be something before they got on that track of being, you know, in state custody. Mm -hmm. So um, through our story, through our life, uh, Rise Up was born, and we've been able to work with a lot of kids over the years, not just us, but mm -hmm. hundreds of people are part of this organization that get to come alongside kids and mm -hmm. hopefully um, make their life better, impact their life, and yeah. So it's very, very important to us. Okay. Yeah, and a similar story I know for you too, Isabel. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's interesting that prior to even coming here, I received a call from uh, the foster agency that I work with, mm -hmm. and they had actually asked me to consider being one of the trainers for new foster families. And they thought that it would be a great initiative to mm -hmm. actually have a current foster family, you know, or parent mm -hmm. that is very um, aware of what is going on. And they're like in their trenches sure. to say, hey, this is what's really going on. Mm -hmm. This is what mm -hmm. takes place. This is the things that you might have to deal with. And so I thought that was interesting that I actually received a call prior to mm -hmm. coming to this tonight. So that's something I'm really praying about, right. whether that's something I really need mm -hmm. to do or not, because certainly the plate mm -hmm. is full, as it yeah, is for yeah. all of us ladies. But we know when we have a call on something and we want mm -hmm. to be advocates for others, that we need to do that. So, no, right. yeah, mm -hmm. that is true. And Caroline, you, same thing, <laughs> you know, I mean, you, yes. you're going through and you were, you're working with young kids pretty much daily mm -hmm. and it's it's a special calling it is it um, you know I, I truly feel like this is where God wants me to be mm -hmm. and for me um, my husband and I struggled having our own children we did have one but I wanted a house full and mm -hmm. and now I've got it mm -hmm. <laughs> just in a different way that's right mm -hmm. <laughs> and you also through your church and the programs I know you have a place near and dear in your heart for those really seeking shelter and the yes. homeless population and the things that you've done through your church have been yes. just incredible. It's, it's, you know, to me it's an opportunity to help those that, that can't help themselves. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I'm just so fortunate to be able to be in that position to help. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. All three of you, when um, conducting these interviews, you all three um, have faced you know different challenges and you've all had this drive or this calling you could call it whatever you want <laughs> but it's been a drive and a calling mm -hmm. what what makes you go mm -hmm. forward and say okay i need to answer this and i need right. to do what i'm feeling in my heart is mm -hmm. what i need to do yeah i think it for me is definitely just understanding that i need to be obedient to what the calling is mm -hmm. you know i mean mm -hmm. we're serving an amazing god 
you know, <laughs> and I know that I don't want people to see me, but instead I hope that they would see that I'm being the hands and feet of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And just mm -hmm. like he loved and just like he served, I hope to be able to do the same, like, mm -hmm. like he did. And so I just want to be mm -hmm. a, an example. And one day, hopefully, I get to see him face to face and he will say to me, you know, well done, good and faithful servant. Mm -hmm. wow. So that's mm -hmm. my heart's desire. Mm -hmm. so that's what helps that's me to beautiful. move forward. Absolutely. Yeah. And Sherry, you... That's beautiful. You <laughs> felt that too. Absolutely. You know, when I talked to you, you said yeah. the same thing. Yeah. She said it better than <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, um, just trying to do what you can do with what you have mm -hmm. and, and just be as much of a difference and an impact mm -hmm. as you can yeah. uh, in your little corner of right. the world. And hopefully it will be a ripple effect that goes mm -hmm. on and on mm -hmm. and on. Yeah, and Caroline. Yeah, yeah, Caroline, you experienced that too because yes. you, you're like, this is not going to take off. This is never going to take right. off. And here we are yes. mm -hmm. today with such a, an, an amazing program yes. at your church. A and somebody told me the other day, they said, you're transforming God's kingdom one person at a time. Mm -hmm. And it, it's so true mm -hmm. to be able, and to be able to do that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Well, our fourth finalist, Lindsay Nichols, was not able to join us tonight, but we did get a chance to speak with her beforehand. I have a wonderful family. I have a wonderful company. I have um, wonderful children. And I just know I have a giving heart, which I guess would make someone remarkable. I asked her if she thought she was remarkable, which I, we kind of talked about with that with all of you. And everyone was like, well, I'm not. It's the people around me who yes. are remarkable. And that just adds yeah. to how amazing you women are. Thank you so much for joining mm -hmm. us Thank you. today. Thank you. I cannot wait to uh, show you all of your stories. Join us. Our Remarkable Women series airs starting tomorrow on News Channel 11 at mm -hmm. 5 o'clock.